What's up everybody, Billy here, bringing you reviews and unboxings, the coolest things on the planet. And today I'm gonna to be going over the top five features of the Android N developer update preview. Now, if you don't know what Android N, be sure to click up here for my previous video on what Android N is and how to get it for your Nexus device. But let's get this started and let's get right off the bat with number one, which is multi-windowed mode. No longer will you need to turn to the Samsung Note series of phones for this feature. Simply hold down the open app button for one second in the app you're currently in. It will move up to the top and the bottom half will switch to the open apps that you can then select in to fill in the bottom half. You can take that middle and actually adjust it if you want one app larger than the other to be able to see more information. Once you're done, you can simply move the middle to either the top or the bottom to, force, to focus only on that one app. It's pretty awesome on phones nowadays with the bigger and bigger screens. And now let's get on to number two, quick switching between two apps. This is another feature that relies on the Recents button, and that's actually according to the Android development team, which is that third button that displays that all the open apps. Anyway, this is a really neat feature that should save you a little bit of time, especially if you're quick switching between two apps. All you have to do is quickly tap it twice, and it will automatically switch between the current app and the last opened app. This is super handy for anyone that needs to check back, and now you won't accidentally have to select the wrong last app opened anymore. Alrighty, on to number three, which is inline replying. Now, I'm all about saving time, and I'm really trying to improve my response rate with people, so this will definitely help. Now, with inline replying, it's really quick and easy to send a quick message back. In the notification tray, you can simply hit reply and start writing your message away and send it directly from there. No more having to actually go into the messaging app to send your reply, but you never know. It's actually still handy to see sometimes what was written before in the conversation, you know, for something called context. <laughs> anyway, number four is a really interesting one, and that's the settings kind of side pulling quick option. So the settings menu got a nice refresh to show some of the quick stats about that particular setting, but I found this little shortcut pretty cool. Now, anywhere in the settings menu, you can pull on the left side of the screen and go to that particular setting if you so wish choose to. This is super handy if you just set up your phone and need to change a whole bunch of settings at once, or even if you're just doing an overhaul or some sort of cleanup on your phone. And now onto the number five top feature of Android N, which is two finger notification toggle. Now with the improved notification area, you now only see the bare bone toggles that you set up. But what if you don't wanna pull down twice to be able to have that old functionality? Well, all you gotta really do is simply use two fingers to pull down on the notification area and make sure to pull it all the way down with the two fingers in one swipe. And I have access to all the toggles and not just the top five that you previously set up. That's pretty handy if you ask me. Android N is gonna be full of improvements to the Android operating system, and I can't wait to see all of them when it's released later this year. So these are my top five features of the Android N developer preview beta, but there are definitely more improvements than the five that I just mentioned in this video. I'd like to know what you guys think. Maybe I didn't mention it in this video, but what's your top feature of the Android N beta? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.